Hey Collective, hey, welcome to Chakra Energy Readings. Thank you all for stopping by. I missed you all. Hope everyone is well. Hope everyone got through uh, the weekend okay and safe. Uh, but we are in a new month, <clears throat> November 1st. Yes, uh, sorry, November 2nd. Yesterday was our Ancestors Remembrance Day. I hope everyone got to pray and give thanks to your ancestors. Um, if you did not, it's okay. We should be doing that daily. So it's okay to just send up a prayer for um, them because without them, there would be no you. Uh, announcements that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, is if you have found this page due to Ancestor Messages, you have realized that Ancestor Messages is no longer. Um, I removed the page. Um, I, it was not flagged. Um, I hadn't gotten flagged on that page at all. Um, but I, re well, at least for the new content. I removed the page um, because I understand I'm new into uh, my spiritual journey, um, at least this part of it. And um, what essentially what I had done um, was create both um, yin and yang of my journey. So I was giving um, ancestor messages, what I can feel to be. Um, maybe the darker side um, compared to chakra readings, which is the lighter side. So, <clears throat> because some things are just not uh, for me uh, meant to be aired, or some things possibly would keep you in a certain vibration, I decided to just go with chakra readings. I do have another channel, which is Queen Shadi. Um, that would be mostly on a mixture of uh, ancestor messages, um, but more pertaining to me personally. Um, so that will get up and running soon. Um, but again, thank you all who have started with me on this journey from that page. I appreciate you, but I will... Um, get some of those messages, but hopefully I can, as I go along in my spiritual journey, I can give it in a more positive and upbeat way. All right. <clears throat> so, this is a read for our Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I've already dealt and actually shuffled. I had to restart, but I wanted to keep the same cards. Um, let me just pray right quickly. I am here only as a vessel to facilitate a positive connection with our ancestors and spirit guides. I ask that the ancestors and spirit guides of pure love and light guide us on a healing journey of our chakra energy that will ultimately bring us into inner sin and complete oneness with all. We thank you, God, for our ancestors and spirit guides, and we give you the utmost gratitude for our being. Also, if you are compelled to do so, <clears throat> please like, share, or subscribe so we may reach our other soul tribe. All right, so let's get started here. The first card that we had to come out for our earth signs is self-mastery in the upright and this is the uh, solar plexus chakra the next card that we had to come out was in a child from the heart chakra in the upright the next card to come out after that was the peace card uh, this is the crown chakra in the upright the next card to come out is Holistic Health, which is the root chakra in the upright. We had three from the third eye chakra to come out in the reverse. That is the Dreams card, the Psychic Development, and Visualization. On the bottom of the deck, we had I Am Presence in the reverse. 
which is from the crown chakra rebirth which is from the rebirth and the reverse which is from the mother earth's uh, mother earth chakra which is six to eight inches below our feet and flexibility in the reverse which is from the um sacral chakra all right earth sign so we are currently in a waxing Gibbous moon. This moon is to refine and hone in on goals, dreams, and relationships. We just left the first quarter moon, which was the take action moon. So keep that in mind as you hear your reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm getting here is um, you have reached a point of self-mastery in something. This Whatever you've reached is self-mastery in, um, required healing in your heart chakra. You have received that healing. Um, you are at peace in this self-mastery. Healing in your, your heart chakra and peace has allowed you to have better health in your life. So you may have picked up a health routine, um, eating healthy, exercising, or just paying attention to your body, which is great. On the top row here, we have the three crown chakra cards. I'm sorry, third eye cards that are out. And that is dreams, visualization, and psychic development. So that tells me that your third eye is um, out of balance at this time. So clarification cards on that third eye being out of balance is I am presence in a reverse Rebirth in a reverse and flexibility. So what I'm getting here <clears throat> is, as I've said, you have self-mastered something in your life. Whether it be a situation, circumstance, a job, a relationship, um, a dream. You have mastered that. So you are at the point of being at peace. Um, <clears throat> understanding you are in, <clears throat> excuse me, in good health, and you have um, healed your inner child. Also on the bottom, it shows that you are receiving abundance from this healing. But it looks like what I'm getting with this third eye being closed, you not being in the present moment, um, or the rebirth card being in the bottom is that there is something that you are not uh, being aware of, something that you are not opening up to. This hangman card here basically says that you are closed off to uh, being in the present moment. Um, you are closed off to having this rebirth. So what I'm getting here is maybe God is trying to deliver a message to you. Um, there is something other than what you have accomplished here. There is something else that you are to do. God is trying to get you to see that in this rebirth. Um, and he wants you to start living in your present moment. I am presence. I am presence relates to understanding your life at the present time. Being happy and gratitude with what you have currently. Um, it's very easy to get into the present moment. Um, one way to do so is um, if you just want to do it by sound. Closing your eyes, listening to the sounds around you. Let no sounds permeate you. Breathing in a rhythm motion. And then um, acknowledging how you are grateful for what you do have. So once you do that, which takes no time at all, it gets you in the present moment. Um, and I say that all to say that I believe there is a life purpose. This life purpose is in reverse. So I believe there is something else that you're supposed to do earth signs at this time um, that you are not doing that God wants you to listen to him. <clears throat> go into meditation and receive his messages for you because you are not hearing the messages here. So 
also I pulled the chakra wisdom cards. We had the heart chakra, generosity, compassion and forgiveness in the heart, and courage and faith. So, for example, we could be, this could be a situation um, where we are going through a time as um, a people, if I may say. We are going through a time um, where we have to either um, come together or stand aside. Um, and a lot of people have decided to just stand aside and talk. But I think God is calling, at least his chosen ones, God is calling on us to come together. So um, this may be a message for you. It may not be. But this general message is God is calling you to do something else. You feel like you have made it. You feel like you're good. You receive an abundance. You're in good health. You healed your wounds. You know how to have fun and good time. You're at peace. And you have self-mastery in your current situation but God says I have something else for you all right so let's get on to the cards the chakra wisdom cards heart chakra generosity generosity is sharing give yourself freely and be open to opportunities to do so do this because you can and expect nothing in return speaking from the heart will let those know around you how you feel about them your generosity will touch another person's heart and replenish their spirit. Through love, have positive, spontaneous, and lasting influences on the healing and transformation of both yourself and others. Have compassion for yourself and for those around you. This is the Compassion and Forgiveness card. Let go of anger, resentments, and torments from the past and do not give your power away to those involved. We cannot get mad um, because of something that happened in the past. Someone saying something in the past that offended you. Because we're supposed to be in healing, right? We're supposed to heal every day. So because someone said something in the past and then there's another situation that comes up, we can't run back to the past and be like, no, that person said this, I'm done. Um, you have to learn to have compassion and forgiveness. Forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself. Forgive yourself for things you could have done differently in the past and remind yourself that your response could not have been any more evolved than it was at that time. We're in a new time. Compassionate, be compassionate to those in need as this shows them that they are not alone. Practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. <clears throat> courage and faith. Embrace courage, faith, and adaptability as they are needed for you to overcome your fear of change or the future. Regularly remind yourself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that you are the creator of your own destiny. Embrace the warrior within you. Remind yourself to be a warrior, not a worrier. I and you are not a victim. I would say I am. I know I'm not a victim, child. Embrace the warrior within you. Remind yourself to be a warrior, not a warrior. A warrior, W-A-R-R-I-O-R, -R -R, not a warrior, W-O-R-R-I-E-R. You are not a victim. Feel the fear and do it anyway. You're ready and eager to move forward. All right. So, <clears throat> again, just to recap for our earth signs, it looks like you have accomplished a major dream or goal in your life. Um, you have healed your heart, um, those wounds that may have hurt you. Um, you found peace within yourself at this time, and you are living a healthy, holistic, and grounded life. But God says he has something else for you or signs. He has something else for you all to do, and he wants you uh, to move forward in that process. All right, so I have some chakra health cards here. These cards are just informational to let us know what we may be dealing with pertaining to our chakra. Um, it may resonate with you, it may not, or it may be something that you know um, someone else to be dealing with.
First card we have out is Breathing Problems. Breathing Problems comes from the Heart Chakra. That also, um, the Heart Chakra, if you <coughs> know, also includes the lungs. And that is um, where the breathing problems would come from. Next we have out is garlic, where you garlic is used to boost your immune system, reduce blood pressure, reduce cholesterol, prevent cancer, and it is an antibiotic. Vitiligo is a um, A dysfunction is not a disease, it's dysfunction in your equilibrium where you may um, not feel balanced. Um, that comes from the crown chakra. Face pain comes from your third eye chakra. Arm pain comes from your throat chakra. Um, arm pain, <clears throat> arm and throat, people don't kind of relate that to it, but if you think about it, when you talk, you use your hands and your arms, so that does tie to your throat chakra. The next one we have out is lower back pain. That lower back pain ties to your solar plexus chakra. Ear pain ties to your crown and base. So from the top all the way to the bottom, ear pain can be an effect. Um, ear pain um, is an infection, um, can start out as an infection, and sometimes it lets you know that your glands are um, infected. So that's how it would actually reach the base. So say you have ear pain, you have a ear infection, you do not get it treated, the ear infection um, connects to your other glandular system, and it ends up at the base, your root chakra. COPD, this is um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. This is from, this deals with your lungs, but it is related to your heart chakra. Your heart chakra controls that part of the body. And last, we have Alzheimer's, which is related to the crown chakra, um, as that is a brain illness disease where um, brain functioning dec decreases and you see that in the mobility and um, speech of the person. All right, Earth Signs, I hope I was able to help you today. If there is any chakra that I would focus on, it would possibly be this heart chakra. Although you have inner child healing, um, compassion um, is needed. Um, at this time because it seems like God has something else for you to do. Compassion is the highest form of love. It's actually tied to the crown chakra. With this crown chakra, I am presence in reverse. You may also want to meditate over that chakra. Uh, crown chakra stones are amethyst, moonstone, fluorite, satellite, and clear quartz. These stones will help with the development of spiritual awareness. They will aid in your inspiration to your meditations and allow you to hear from source. All right. I hope I was able to help someone today. I thank you all so much, Earth Signs. Take care. Bye.